Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This video cast is for beginners. It's number 44 and we are talking about the verbs that work in the same way as gustar. Because there are many. ¿Verdad? Verdad. Entonces, nos vemos en la segunda parte. Okay, so this lesson's in English because it's for beginners, but obviously it applies to anybody else who wants to listen in. Yeah. Um, Cynthia, we, we've talked about gustar, you know, me gusta, me gustan. Yeah? Yes. But gustar isn't the only verb that, that works that way, which is, no. which is it pleases me. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So, give us another verb that's like gustar. Molestar. Molestar. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that isn't the it's same not, meaning as no. in the UK, like no. I've been molested. Well, not in the UK, in English, yeah, I suppose they used to say. Yeah, I suppose, other, yeah, yeah. I, I've, just, I've just been molested on the stairs. No, yeah, well, yes, you can be <laughs> molestado, <laughs> but it's not the same, unfortunately. So, molestar is to be bothered. Right, yes. something when we say that really bothers me or like it upsets me, okay? Molestar, yeah? Yes. So, molestar. How does it work? Because we would say, I'm really bothered, okay? They bother me, they're bothering me. They bother He's me. He's bothering me. Okay, so how so does that work? How do you say that? It works the same way as it works in English. Well, you can do the bothering as well, like yeah. in Spanish, but let's think, let's Le pretend we'll that do... something is bothering you uh -huh. this way. So, one person, he, okay, he's bothering me. Él me molesta. Okay. Él me molesta. He is bothering me. Right. Él me molesta. Okay. So, just like, él me gusta, mm -hmm. él me molesta. There's no difference in the structure. No. Um, and the reason that we say, why do we say molesta and not molestan? Because the person doing the bothering is him. I'm receiving it, but he's bothering me. So it's singular, yes? So we use the third person because he bothers me. Okay. okay? So él me él molesta. Él me molesta. That's okay. why it's third person. And if we were to say they are bothering me. Ellos... Me molestan, me molestan. Okay. They bother, ellos yeah. molestan, and then me. Ellos me molestan. Okay. Now, bear in mind, there's something really important about the verbs that are like gustar. Quite often, you can use them on their own, and you don't need to say, it's bothering me. You can just generally say, molesta, ¿verdad? Molesta, o molestan. Yeah. Yes, that's when it's a general yeah. bothering, <laughs> I don't know yeah. what you would say. When they bother, in general, not just me, I'm not saying they bother me, they, they're a nuisance, okay? Yeah. Like, it's when we, when we tend to use an it. For example, we can say, well, it's a bummer, isn't it? It's a bummer. The Spanish person might say, molesta, ¿verdad? Yeah? Molesta. So you, you're just Cabrera talking about an it. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. All right, so molestar. Now, Bear in mind that we're using me, but that all of those pronouns of apply. Me, te. Me, te, le, le. Nos, os, les. Yeah. So it, depend, it depends on who is receiving the bothering. Exactly. Me, te, le, nos, nos os, os, les. les. And what's interesting is the pronoun changes, but molesta or molestan doesn't change. It's always just sing, uh, molesta or molestan if if you're just referring to it or them, yeah, or he or she. Yeah? It would change according to the person who's doing the bothering. Yeah. So if we say he is bothering, regardless of who he's bothering, it'll be molesta. Yeah. If they are bothering, regarding of who's receiving that, it would be molestan. Yeah. Okay? Mm-hmm. If I'm bothering, it would be molesto, okay? Yeah. So it depends who's doing the bothering and then who's receiving it. Yeah. So you change. You could say to somebody, a friend, me molestas mucho. Me molestas, okay? Right? 
with so an S. Tu, tu me molestas. Mm -hmm. So you've got the S for you because you are bothering me. Okay, or I can say te molesto, te molesto. You am I bothering? Am I bothering you? Mm. So that's why I say molesto because I'm mm -hmm. doing the bothering and you're receiving the bothering. Yeah, mm -hmm. te molesto. No, no me molestas. No, you're not bothering me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But that wouldn't be like, shall I molest you? No. Which yes, is completely... That, that, yeah. That's for another, that's for <laughs> another, another lesson. Spanish yeah. video. Yes. Another lesson. <laughs> okay. Shall I molest you? No. That will be... No, thank you. That won't be free. That, I've, just had my, I've just had my lunch. <laughs> no, thank you. So, um, let's move on to Michael. another verb and we'll look at... YouTube this. is going to change. It's going to close our channel. Yeah, yeah. Molestar. Thanks to you. <laughs> Molestar. Okay. Interesar. Okay. Interesar. To interest. And so the same the same thing applies. You can say same thing in English. No? Yeah. In this in sometimes these work the way that we say them in English. It interests uh -huh. me. Yeah. Interests me. Uh-huh. But we, interest me. we tend to say I'm interested in. Yeah? Yes. That typically. But in the Spanish structure, it's yes. it interests me. And look at that sentence. It interests, and it's got the interests with an S because it's it. It is doing the interesting part. Mm -hmm. And then you receive the, the interest, yeah? Mm -hmm. So it interests me. If yeah. you change the it for they, they interest me. So it wouldn't be interests anymore. Mm -hmm. So that's, what we, that's exactly what we do in Spanish. Yeah? Yeah. So one thing interests me. So... Me interesa. We wouldn't have the law here for it interests me, okay? No. Because interesa is already the it. That's doing the it, isn't it? Uh -huh. Yeah. So me interesa. Me interesa algo. Something. Me interesa tu opinión. Me interesa tu opinión. Tu opinión is the it, your opinion. Interests. So it's a third person. Me interesa tu opinión. Mm -hmm. Me interesa saber qué opinas. Mm -hmm. And obviously, if you're going to add a verb after me interesa, it's always going to be interesa. Yes. Even if you're talking about lots of things. Yes. It's always me, me interesa saber. Like gustar. Yeah, yeah. When you have a verb or even a list of verbs, is a third person for the verb. Okay. And obviously, you can say no me interesa. No me interesa. Gracias. No me interesa. Not bothered. Not bothered. <laughs> okay. So then well, we've got something like. Fascinar. Me fascina, me fascina. Oh, that'd be that'd be good for you guys to say. Fascina. Fast. 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 Ascensor. Fascina. Yeah. So <laughs> We're just talking about that. S and then a th. S, S and a th. For those who want the Spanish accent, obviously. Yeah, from if from yeah, from Spain. In in yeah. Latin America, you wouldn't know there was a C in there. Fasc no, it would be fascina. Fascina. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like almost double S. Yeah. yeah. Fascina. Fascina, fascina would be for us. Mm -hmm. Me fascina. Me fascina lo que haces. Mm -hmm. What you do, it, that thing, fascinates me. Again, the same, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It, fa it fascinates me. It's always, with these verbs, the, the, the thing is always coming to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're the recipient of this. Yes. So, me fascina el cine. Well, saying this, of course you can fascinate someone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it could work that way as well. You can fascinate and yeah. something can fascinate you. Yeah. Like in English, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So you like can... I fascinate him. Can yeah. you even say that? <laughs> Big-headed. Le fascino. Yo con... Le fascino. Le gusto. Me ama. Le gusto. <laughs> yeah. Um... All right, so we've got interesar, fascinar, molestar. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let's finish with uh, what about what about faltar? Faltar. Okay. What do you think? Okay. Um, we were talking about this in the book club, um, one of the weeks of for the book club, because you guys don't have lack. No. You miss. <laughs> We're lacking you, lack. You're lacking the word lack. That's true. Um, you don't use it. We do. And it makes life easier mm -hmm. when we do it. Mm -hmm. um, well, because we've got faltar, sobrar. Uh, it's just easy. But you guys don't tend to use it. You make sentences a different way. Yeah. Because you want to do it more like the English way. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mm -hmm. work sometimes. Yeah. So tell us how you would do the, the sentence with... Faltar and sobrar. 
If you want to explain what it is first. Okay, so faltar is to be in lack. Okay. Yes. So we'll just stick with faltar because we're going to run out of time. Okay? okay, so we'll do faltar. So faltar, if I say me falta eh, agua. Me falta agua. Okay. That we would say something like I need water. Yes. Necesito. Yes. Agua. Yeah, because faltar, what I'm saying is, I am lacking water. Yes. But of course, we wouldn't say that in English. But in Spanish, yes. Yeah? Yes, of course. I'm lacking water. Or, me falta agua. Me faltan dos piezas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I need two pieces. And what about with time as well? Me faltan 15 minutos para terminar. Yeah, I need 15 minutes to, to finish. And then we would say, I'm lacking 15 minutes to finish. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's the time I'm lacking. Uh -huh. So you can, if you notice, you can say necesito. Yes, you can say every necesito. Every time, with falta, just about every time. But that isn't the first verb that Spanish speakers go for. They go for faltar. Yeah, ¿qué te falta? ¿Qué te falta? What do you need? Yeah. Or with time as well. Uh, ¿Cuánto tiempo te falta? How long do you need? How long do you need? The same in English, but we would yeah. say, how much are you lacking in time? Yeah. Me faltan diez minutos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, our first choice, because we're translating our head, would be to go for need, necesito, yeah? But that isn't the first choice here. So, it's worthwhile understanding these other verbs that, like, like sobrar as well, do This is your homework. Go and have a look at sobrar, which is to, yeah. to be in surplus, okay? Faltar, just look up faltar, sobrar, and quedar. Because quedar is also a very, very, very good one. They're ones that we don't naturally go yes. for in, in, in yes. when we come from English. Those Spanish, are the ones yeah. that you're lacking mm. in English. <laughs> We're lacking. Eh, os faltan en inglés. Uh, nos y faltan. a nosotros nos sobran. <laughs> sí. Sobra faltar aquí. Sobra. <laughs> ok. Um, entonces, eso es todo. Y hay, hay que practicar mucho estos verbos. Son importantes. Sí. Vale, entonces, ¡nos vamos! Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.